three, two, one, go. So, hello, I'm Steven, and um, I'm here to talk about the physics of a bell siphon. Um, the, so, a bell siphon is a um, mechanism with no, movement, with no moving parts that allows the tanks to fill and drain and fill and drain. Um, and over here is the important part, the bell. Um, so the bell of a bell siphon, what this does is as the tank fills, this part fills up too. Um, so, and once the once the water once the water level reaches um, the level the height of this pipe in the middle, it spills over. Um, and when it spills over, it forms a seal, and that pull and all the water and all the air up in the top part of this um, that that gets sucked down and um, out of it and out of the bell part, um, creating an area of low pressure. That low pressure sucks all the water from the um, tank up and down the tube in the center, and until the air can um, equalize by getting through these holes at the bottom, um, then it will continue draining the tank, and once the air pressure is equalized, then the um, full cycle repeats, it fills up and drains, fills up and drains. Um, so, and then I also made a cool mechanism that um, when the water drains, it turns a um, little pivot thing, and um, and that and it's based on a concept originally developed in ancient Greece called Hero's Engine, and what and they used steam for that. Um, wa uh, you, water was boiled in like a tank, and then two pipes went up into a sphere, and the sphere had these little elbow joints. Um, um, and and the steam would rush out of those elbow joints, where it and then um, the thing would turn in the opposite direction. At the time, they didn't know why it worked, but now we know that, um, according to Isaac Newton, the um, uh, the water pushed out the back generates a force forward, and that for and it's that force forward that turns the whole thing around. Um, so when the water rushes down, it spins the mechanism. Awesome. It took a long time to make and it's kind of finicky, but it works. Thank you so much, Stephen. It looks awesome. Thank you.